Welcome to BibleNote.pro. This video will show you how to use the program Microsoft OneNote with BibleNote to effectively study the Bible. Let's begin. We all strive to know God's will through the study of His Word, the Bible. Praise the Lord for the opportunity to do this. We have the Bible available to us in written and electronic form. There are many different translations and many great programs which help us read the Bible. Also available to us are different reference materials. For example, Bible concordances, interpretations, commentaries of famous theologians, etc. And all of this is available to us in written and electronic form. It is convenient that the Bible and reference materials are partially linked together. In study materials there are links back to the Bible, and you can also find editions of the Bible with commentaries. During Bible study we take a lot of notes so that we don't forget what we have studied and so that we can pass on what we have learned to others. Over time we end up with a lot of notes and it becomes harder to find what we need. It doesn't matter if we write in a writing book or on the computer, for example with Microsoft Word. What makes it more difficult is that there is no direct connection between the Bible and our notes. We can write in our notes the passage of scripture which relates to what we are studying. We can even refer to somebody's interpretation, but it doesn't work the other way around. While reading the Bible, we can see when and where we studied that particular passage of Scripture. The Lord provided an answer to this problem. As a basis, we decided to use the program Microsoft OneNote, which has many advantages for processing and storing information. The program saves all your notes and connects them with your Bible study, all in one place. Whether it is Bible commentaries, sermon outlines, courses, conferences, lessons, textbooks, and so on. Microsoft OneNote is a powerful tool for structuring all your materials. It makes it possible to search through all your notes. It is also possible to synchronize your notes between a couple computers. That way you have a backup in case something happens to your computer. And there is much more. You can find out more details from other videos on our website or in the instruction of the program Bible Note. God helped us figure out a way to adapt Microsoft OneNote for Bible study. Here is what we get. The ability to add an unlimited number of comments on the Bible. The ability to use the full electronic version of the Bible for personal study. Emphasizing keywords, comparisons, contrasts, the option to title chapters and paragraphs in the text, etc. And most importantly, the ability to create your own cross-reference system with your comments. The result is you have access to all your Bible study notes in one place. While reading your Bible, you can see what notes you have taken about each verse. Let's look a little closer at Bible note. On the left we see a collapsible menu of our notes in Microsoft OneNote. The chapter of the Bible you are reading is in the middle. You will notice that verses 7 and 9 have commentaries that we have written before. If we click on the phrase one with another, it will show us the note that was previously written about that phrase. In the text we can mark keywords, comparisons and contrasts, write the meanings of words, indicate words of time, title chapters and paragraphs, and so on. Let's look at the program Bible Not in Action. Let's say that we decided to write a sermon outline. Create a new section for writing a sermon outline on the navigation bar. Write out your sermon outline or copy it from another source. Notice that in the outline there are a number of Bible references. 
Click on the button Notes Analysis located in the Bible Notes tab. The program analyzes your sermon outline and turns the scripture references into clickable blue links. Now it is easy to see where there are Bible references. If we click on any of the links, it will take us to the scripture passage. You will notice that to the right of the verse there is a link called Notes. This link is there because we referred to this verse somewhere in our notes. If we click on this link, it will open up a window which shows where we referred to this passage of scripture in our notes. We can see that Matthew 28.7 is referred to once in the sermon The Great Commission. If we click on the Great Commission sermon link, it takes us to the outline and in it shows us where Matthew 28.7 was mentioned. To sum it all up, all of our notes are connected with our Bible study and saved in Microsoft OneNote. While we are reading the Bible, we can see the notes that we have taken about any passage of Scripture. We can create our own custom workspace for studying the Bible, which can include multiple Bible translations, our notes connected with our Bible study, sermon outlines, lessons, etc., textbooks and other books, your own commentary on the Bible, various dictionaries and concordances, multiple interpretations, and so on. So when we read the Bible, like for example John 3.16, we have the ability to see this verse in different Bible translations, the meaning from Strong's Concordance, where this verse is mentioned in lessons that we have studied, in notes from sermons that we have listened to, and in our other notes connected to our personal devotions, our personal comments about the verse or about the individual words of the verse, where this verse is mentioned in textbooks, other books, concordances and commentaries, we can look at this verse from different perspectives and contexts, and we can be reminded of what we have already studied about this verse. In addition to all of this, there are even more advantages of using Microsoft OneNote. For example, the search option. If you need to find a particular note on a particular topic, the program will search through all your notes and find it for you. You can even use SkyDrive to access your notes without needing to install one note on website skydrive.com and much more. More detailed information about Bible Note is available on our website. There you can find detailed instructions on how to use the program. You can also find instructional videos which will show you in detail the various ways you can use the program. May God bless you in this fascinating journey through His Word.